All right, you guys. I think I got enough information to make a decent video. I hope I do anyway. So Josh and I will be flying into Bozeman. We're going to get into Bozeman. It's a three-hour drive to the ranch. So the time we land, rental car eats, we should be able to get there for 5 o'clock. So the first day, <clears throat> Josh and I can check into the ranch. We'll make this 300-mile drive. This is going to be our Zion trip. <clears throat> this is where we're going to cross the border, go into Calgary to get, to get you to, and then we'll go on to the Icefields Parkway to Jasper. This is the points of interest that I wrote down. These are, so then I made a, an inset of those points of interest. It's 11, but two of them just drive by, so it's really nine things that we can really concentrate on. Number one is Johnson Canyon. That'll take about two hours. Number two is Bow Lake. Get out and look half an hour. Pato Lake. Get out and look a half an hour. Mataya Canyon. This is something we really want to do. This is some... This is some Russian water. Um, it's from the Pato River. This thing is pretty magnificent. Worth the hour. Weeping Wall, Big Ben, it's just on the road. We see it as we come through. Beverly Creek Trail. Spectacular, spectacular. Kind of off the beaten path. Small hike. Easily can spend two hours there. Beautiful. Sunwapta Falls, a huge waterfall. 30 minutes is all we're going to need. Athabasca Falls, the same thing, but we can spend an hour there. It's gorgeous. Valley of the Five Lakes. This is easy, easy, not for walking. Um, I had the distance for all of these, and I'll go over that too. Milan Canyon. This is a tricky one. Um... This is definitely going to be, if we do it, it'll be the second day. <clears throat> and the thing about Milan Canyon is it has six bridges. And when I look on YouTube, you can start from bridge number six and hike up to the highest bridge number one, which is, you know, or you can drive over to bridge number one and the bridge is right out the parking lot. Bridges one and two, easy, 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 spectacular views. So they talk about if there was a way to get dropped off at bridge number six. If you had two cars, you know, like we used to go tubing. Um, but the point being, if you would go from bridge number six and just hike one way to bridge number one, get in your car and leave. So that's something we got to think about and talk about and see about. So this is the deal. That's not the whole trip, though. I digress. So what we're going to do is, Joshua and I is going to get to the ranch. Then on day one, we're going to come into, into the east side, going to the Sun Road, St. Mary Falls, past Logan Pass, come over here to Avalanche Lake Trailhead. Mm, it's about a, five and a high, about a five and a half mile round trip hike, beautiful hike. Then we'll go to Apgar Village and check that out. On the way back... We'll stop at St. Mary Falls and Virginia Falls, I think. Then we'll come into Bab and eat right there and go back to the ranch. That's day one. Day two, we're going to go over by Manny Glacier, trailhead for Iceberg Lake. I think it's about eight and a half mile there and back. And at the end of it, we'll turn and go and do, I think it's Red Rock Falls. It's a little two mile loop, two and a half mile loop supposed to be pretty good scenery then we'll come back eat in bad go back to the ranch day three back to manny glacier tickets for the boat ride across swift current and lake josephine get on a trailhead for upper grinnell we've cut a lot of miles off so now it's 7.8 miles round trip we got enough time to do lower grinnell that's a short one maybe three and a half miles or so back to the boat manny glacier Eat that bab, back to the ranch. Day four, back in going to the Sun Road, back through the tunnel, um, Logan Pass, Highline Loop. This is the big one. Um, hopefully Josh got me free of blisters and all that. We start the hike, Highline Loop. 
go to the chalet near near the chalet we go up the vertical to get another look at upper Grinnell from a different view come back on a loop and hike down to go into the sun road a bus is going to bring us back to logan pass now as we're driving back to bab to eat and back to the ranch you guys are flying to Calgary and then going back to y'all hotel. So that's the night of the 21st. So then in the morning, Josh and I is right on the border. So we at the border when it opens. We should be able to get to you guys fairly early, 10.30 or so at the hotel. Then we get started on a trip with y'all. So once we pass Banff, our first deal is right here at Johnson Canyon. So if we come over here and look at Johnson Canyon, it's showing about two hours. So if we come out, okay, so if we come out of the canyon, say one o'clock, um, the distance from Johnson Canyon to Jasper is about a three hour drive. So that would put us here at four o'clock. We don't have to be here till 930 or so. So we have five, five and a half hours to spend to spend on a drive. So if it's five hours to spend and we stop for Bow Lake, stop for Pato Lake, now we have four hours to spend. If we decide Mataya Canyon or Beauty Creek Trail or both, that would take three hours. Then if we did Athabasca Falls, that's four hours. Sun Wapta, four and a half. We should be here for nine-ish. We'll see as we as we're on the road, we can make game time decisions. But if we're able to catch all of these things and leave Valley of Five Lakes and Milan Canyon for the second day, we might be able to get into Jasper and see some of the damn town. Now, if we can, good for us. If we can't, some things will have to be gotten on day two, and that's okay. Um, Valley of Five Lakes is something that we shouldn't want to miss. It's very easy. It's beautiful. That's one of the hikes that has the two red chairs. When you start looking at Canada, they put these two red chairs in these most picturesque spots, you know. Milan Canyon is, is it's something else. Look on YouTube. It's really something else. Now, they have six bridges. You don't have to do them all. You can start where you want to start, blah, blah, blah. But if you start at bridge number six, and if you can hike one way, meaning you have two cars or one car drops you off at number six and drives to number one, um, you would hike from number six, which is the lowest, up to number one, which is the highest. And I think it might take about two hours. I don't know. I got to go back and look at that. But whoever's at number one bridge... It's right off the parking lot, bridges one and two, easy to walk to, beautiful scenery. Um, I just don't know. This one has a lot of options. We're going to have to talk about it. But if we was to do that the next day, you would start whatever time you wake up, get breakfast, drive out. It's about a 10K drive to get to Milan Canyon. Do the hike, start coming back. Now, once you've finished all your hikes in Jasper, you have a drive back down, and you're going to see all the scenery again. So if you didn't catch anything the day before, you catch it now. And you have to drive past Banff and come to Brad Creek. Now, let me see how long it's going to take to get to Brad, Brad Creek. I'll be right back. Okay, Jasper to the Shanty Yurt is four and a half hours. So whatever time you leave Jasper... Minus the time that you spend on the Icefield Parkway is going to be the time you pull in Brad Creek. Okay? Um, four and a half hours. If you get up at, if you get over here at 9 in the morning, you leave here for whatever reason at 12, you catch Valley of the Lakes. So if it's 2 o'clock, you get here for 6 o'clock. Okay, so that puts us at Bragg Creek on our second day. This would be the 20. Let's see, you flew in on the 21st. 
We left on the 22nd, stayed in Jasper on the 22nd. Now this is now the 23rd and we had, we had the yurt. Now the reason I wanted the second day was because I want to go on the 24th, go back through Banff and come back up and turn off the ice fields and go to Emerald Lake. Then pull back and stop at the Natural Bridge then see Takawa Falls, get back on the Icefield Parkway, go into Banff, see the town, scenery, shopping, whatever. So spend a day doing that, then come back to Brad Creek. So this is what I'm showing right here. Basically right here, and that would be the, the trip on 24th that will be on the 24th then on the 25th we leave Bragg Creek and go over to High River Maggie Cafe all of that and make our way to the Prince of Wales Hotel now we're on the sixth floor Lakeview we got it so depending what time I have to go look and see um, the time to get to Waterton, but we should be able to get to Waterton three, four o'clock in the evening, no worries. Um, we'll probably do that little hike up Bears Hump, walk the half a mile into town, go chill in Waterton. Might take a little walk on the lake, I don't know. Take a ride down the road in Waterton, I don't know. But, however, in addition to, we're gonna spend the time, we're gonna spend that day at Prince of Wales Hotel. We're gonna see Waterton. The next day we're gonna leave. The next day is the 26th. Yes, the 26th. So we'll have to drive from Waterton and we'll have to drive back to Bozeman. Um, I'll look at the mileage, but it's probably about seven hours, I don't know. We're gonna drive it. However, this is my other plan besides Besides doing this little day right here, that was one of the surprises I wanted to do. This is the other one. It would be an hour and a half and on our route to come out of Waterton, go back into East Glacier, get on going to the, go on to the Sun Road, go through the tunnel, pass St. Mary's Falls, go to Logan Pass, and go, I think it's 3.8 miles, which is the really, a lot of the really scenic stuff on going to the Sun Road. 3.8 miles, they have a pull off, take pictures, go back to Logan Pass. So there I can drop, I can drop Josh and Stacy off. Let me see here. So I can drop you guys off at Logan Pass. Hopefully I can drop y'all off there about 11.30, should be. 11.30, if we leave here, get through, it's only an hour and a half drive, right? Get through the border, hour and a half drive, pass up Logan Pass, come back to Logan Pass, just to take the ride on going to the Sun Road a little bit, scenic route, you know? So at Logan Pass, you guys could do this hike right here. Probably about two hours y'all can get it done. That's Hidden Lake. So that's on 726. So you two can take off and do Hidden Lake, which is the hike Don and I did across those ice fields and all. A lot of wildlife. It is a beautiful hike. And you end up at Hidden Lake. Matter of fact, if I can get you there for 1130 or so, you'll have enough time when y'all get back to do a little bit of the Highline Loop. At least a mile and a half or so, two miles probably. We'll see. Because... It's pretty nice right at the top. Josh and I is fixing to see, but right when you take off, you see some stuff. I'm just telling you, you see some stuff. So the plan would be whatever time I drop y'all off, y'all could be back to Logan Pass parking lot, say about five-ish. Don and I could leave and go to the Trail of Cedars at Avalanche Lake. We can go to Apcourt Village. We'd have enough time to go to St. Mary Falls. But we'll be back at the parking lot for five o'clock or by phone if it's 5 30 whatever it's gonna take 
five and a half hours <clears throat> to go from Logan Pass to Bozeman. We don't need to be there for any certain time. We just hit the airport, nine-ish, ten-ish, whatever, and then we'll have our hotel room waiting. Then we fly out the next morning on the 27th. So that was a deal. We would get to see so much stuff on Icefields Parkway. And the names you're going to be looking for is going to be, like I said, um, Milan Canyon, Valley of Five Lakes, Athabasca Falls, Sunwapta Falls, Beauty Creek Trail, Mustaya Canyon, Pato Lake, Bow Lake, Takakawa Falls, Emerald Lake, Natural Bridge, Johnson Canyon. And, 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 Maggie's Cafe. High River. But, okay. Now, I don't have to do anything else for this trip. But wait for the 24th, because I need to get the 24th at the yurt. And then that's going to that's gonna let me take the 25th at Waterton. So then I'll have the 25th at Waterton. And then the 26th is going to be us going back into East Glacier and coming to Bozeman. And then the 27 is flying home. All right. Let me know what y'all think.